Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you the solution for the lead code problem bulb switcher 3. So basically in this we're given n bulbs numbered from 1 to n arranged in, arranged in a row from left to right. Initially all the bulbs are turned off. So we're given an integer array light having values from 1 to n in any order. And if k ranges from 0 to n minus 1 where light has a size of n which is also the number of bulbs. So at any light of K, we'll be turning on that position's light. So suppose K is equal to zero, then light of zero is two. So at moment zero, we'll be turning on the second light bulb. And K is equal to one, we'll be turning on light of one. So we'll be turning on the first light bulb and so on. So we're given with an array of array called light having values from 1 to n and at kth position of light we'll be turning on light of kth bulb now what we have to do is first there's a condition given a bulb will change color to blue if it is on and all the previous bulbs all the bulb switches left are turned on too so we need to return the moments in which all the turned on bulbs are blue so let's understand with an example first so here light is 2 1 3 4 5 so the maximum number of bulbs are 5. So the bulbs are 1 to 5 initially as given in the question and this is our light array. So at moment 0, light of 0 will be turned on, second bulb is turned on. It is It does not change to blue. Why? Because 1 is not on. Then at, at moment 1, light of 1 bulb is turned on, which is the first bulb. So first bulb is turned on, it changes to blue. Why? because the bulb preceding it there is no bulb so at any case light the first light bulb will be will turn to blue and then two also turns to blue because two was already on and now the bulb preceding it is also on so both of them turn blue now at i at k is equal to two at second moment light of two which is three is turned on and it also turns to blue why because all the bulbs preceding it are blue now at moment 3 light of 3 bulb is turned on which is fifth so the fifth bulb is turned on but it does not turn blue why because the bulb preceding it is not on then at moment 4 light of 4 is 4 so the fourth bulb is turned on and now all the bulbs are on so all of them turn into blue so there are three moments at which the bulbs are all blue which are one 2 and 4 as you can see by these images so the solution for this is very easy and the most basic idea that people get for this is using o of n square using two loop but o of n square here will give time limit exceeded so we can do it in o of n time so how are we going to do that so let's see first we'll maintain an integer that will keep track of the right most bulb which is on and let's take it as initially as minus one. Now we'll be looping through our given array. So int i is equal to zero, i less than light dot length i plus plus. Now there's one thing you need to understand. At ith moment, light of ith bulb will be turned on. Now what is i? Or what is the significance of i? If you see closely, i plus 1 is basically number of bulbs, i plus 1 is equal to number of bulbs we have turned on. Number of bulbs turned on. So, as you can see, at the, at ith position, suppose i is 3, then at i is equal to 3 we have turned on 4 light bulbs or when i is equal to 0 we have turned on 1 light bulb so after turning on the light of ith light bulbs the number of light bulbs which are turned on are i plus 1 and let's keep a counter set to 0 which will keep track of all the moments at which all the light bulbs turn to blue so rightmost is initially minus 1 and then if we find anything to the right of it, meaning greater than it, then it will change. So if 
light of i greater than right max then simply right max is equal to light of i now this is the most important part so at right max or let's change this to right max anyway yeah so right max is keeping track of the rightmost bulb which is turned on so at any moment suppose that the right max is equal to the number of bulbs which are turned on meaning that all the bulbs which are turned on will be blue let's look by example so here at moment 1 i is 1 and the bulb which is turned on right max is 2 so 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 i plus 1 2 so both the bulbs are turned on now look at this example here i is 2 and light of i is 3 and the right max is 3 so right max is equal to 2 plus 1 so all the bulbs are turned on but look at here here i is 3 and the right max is 5 so 5 is not equal to 3 plus 1 4 so this is not a moment where the all the light bulbs are blue so basically what i'm saying is if right max is equal to i plus 1 then we have found a moment where all the bulbs are true all the bulbs are blue and let's look at this, this example as well the moment is 4 and the right max is 5 and so 5 is equal to 4 plus 1 as i is 4 and so this is again a moment where all the light bulbs are turned blue and then simply at the end we can return count so in a nutshell what we're doing is we're finding out the rightmost bulb which is on and if that is equal to the number of bulbs which are turned on then all the bulbs which are turned on are turned on are to the left of it then we've got a moment where all the bulbs are turned on and all the bulbs are blue so only if there's a sequence of bulbs on the left such that all the bulbs are on then all the bulbs will be blue so let's try to run this seems okay okay so as you can see this is runtime 1 ms faster than 100% of java online submission because we did it in o of n so the approach is a little difficult to get but once you get the idea it is very simple thank you